The chairman of uh, the session, Mr. Sabine Sarmas, SG of ITU, DSG of ITU directors here present, global ICT and digital economy ministers, heads of uh, government delegations, all other protocol duly and respectfully observed. Good afternoon to all of you and uh, may peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you. On behalf of uh, the President of Nigeria and also our citizens, I want to use the opportunity to convey our appreciation and goodwill to the government and people of Romania for the warm and hospitable reception they have accorded with, with since the time of our arrival. Furthermore, I also want to use the opportunity to commend the International Telecommunication Union's leadership for the role they have been playing in the development of telecommunications globally, particularly the digital economy sector in general. The effort of ITU is highly commendable. In addition, our story in Nigeria, particularly the success story, can hardly be summarized within three minutes. However, I will make an attempt to figure out some major achievements that will make us to appreciate the gist of our achievements and gains. As it is today in Nigeria, the digital economy sector is the fastest growing sector of our economy. Particularly at the peak of COVID-19 recession, uh, a COVID-19 pandemic, it was the only, it was the only sector that grew by double digits. Furthermore, what facilitated these achievements can be summarized as follows. That is the development of 19 national policies that are all being implemented today. These national policies are in the area of uh, developmental regulations, infrastructure, digital skills, indigenous content development, among many others. It is because of this development of these policies and their implementation, the digital economy sector played the principal role of lifting out Nigeria out of recession in the last quarter of 2020 that was triggered by COVID-19 pandemic. Furthermore, the sector has recorded many unprecedented achievements when it comes to contribution to our gross domestic product. For example, in the first quarter of 2020, the sector contributed more than 14% to our GDP. In the second quarter of 2021, the sector also contributed 17.92% to our GDP, which was also unprecedented. Of recent, in the second quarter of 2022, the sector contributed 18.44% to our GDP, which is also unprecedented. As it is today in Nigeria, you will discover that in Africa, we have around seven unicorns. And you will discover out of these seven unicorns, five of them do have their root in Nigeria, meaning they originated from Nigeria. By implication, Nigeria alone contributed almost 70% to the entire unicorns of Africa with 44 countries. When it comes to digital skills, we are too ambitious to the extent that even at the peak of recession, we establish two virtual academies where we train our citizens on emerging technologies. We train around 2.5 million citizens and we sign many MOU with tech giants where we plan to train more than 10 million citizens in the next two or three years. And we are in the process of having Nigeria Startup Law, which will provide the enabling environment for our young innovators to come up with solutions to our global problems, particularly the complex problems we have globally. A lot has been achieved in Nigeria, there is no doubt. However, on behalf of the good people of Nigeria, I want to use the opportunity also to make some recommendations 
to the global digital economy leaders that converge here in this beautiful and historic city of Bucharest. Firstly, which is very important, we should try to promote cybersecurity. As we all know today, we have over 5 million people online, 5 billion people online. So the rate of cyber crime is increasing by the day. So there is need for us to prioritize cyber security, or more specifically, cyber immunity, to make sure that our cyberspace is being used for economic development, socialization, promoting security, peace and stability, instead of being used in committing crime. Secondly, in the fourth industrial revolution, as we all know that we have another wall. Beside the physical and the virtual wall, we have another, uh, beside the physical and the biological wall, we have another uh, virtual wall. So we have three walls together. The virtual wall, which has been brought about the, by the fourth industrial revolution, particularly the development in the area of artificial intelligence, robotics, internet of things, among many others. There is need for us to promote that whatever is legal and legitimate offline, it is legal and legitimate online. And whatever is illegal and illegitimate offline, it should be illegal and illegitimate online. Why? Because the virtual world is an extension of our biological and also our physical world. Thirdly, there is need for us to promote ethics. Fourth Industrial Revolution is a reality. There is no doubt about this. It is because of this we need to promote ethics, particularly in dealing with artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, robotics, and many more. That is what brought about having data protection regulation in place. In Nigeria, we have established a full-pledged agency of government which has been named as Nigeria Data Protection Beirut in order to ensure at least we enforce ethics, privacy, and confidentiality. And finally, as the chairman of WISIS 2022, I want to use the opportunity to encourage global digital economy leaders to prioritize the activities of WISIS as they are in alignment with what has been presented here since morning up to this period. Thank you very much for the opportunity to address you. I wish you all the best.